Oh, and there's our tree. And there we have it. It's a rowan. It's a mountain ash. It's actually got berries on it. Uh, and it's quite incredible. I'm, I'm just as impressed now as I was then that it can actually anchor itself to rock like that. But that's um, the nature of nature. Uh, when you have a bare substrate like rock or if you have a landslide and bare rocks exposed, you wonder how on earth plants get colonised, uh, how plants colonise rock again. But um, all it takes, it starts off with lichens like this. And as these die, and mosses and liverworts, as these things die, they form a very basic rudimentary soil. And then you get the next wave of incomers. So you get mosses coming in that anchor themselves into the very, very thin soil that's left by these lichens and these different things that are crawling on the rock here. And then you get small grasses. And as they die, they break down, they turn into soil. And you do get a very, very thin layer. And that's all it takes in the end for something to come along, a seed to come along and take seed. And that's exactly what this has done here. You think it would be improbable, but there's a gash here. So obviously stuff, organic matter has been accumulating in here over the years. And then that gave it enough soil to be able to actually take root. But it's still surprising that it's got as big as it has. But this process where bare rock comes into having, well, all this on it really, looking green, it's called succession. And you have a process of stages uh, of succession, ranging from lichens to mosses to grasses to small plants to small shrubs to trees. And then you get what's called the climax community, which is what the landscape will get to in, if it's left alone. So in most cases in this country, it's forest. That's the climax community that we'd expect to have. There are actually very few landscapes, very few places in the UK where succession is allowed to progress to its climax, to the community of species that would develop naturally. We tend to artificially halt succession, either by having farming, we have animals grazing the land, or we have, uh, we deliberately manage grouse moors to keep the heather short, um, or we have deer. Um, we, we keep very, very high numbers of deer in this country to, for, for stalking or whatever. And uh, that keeps, that stops trees from regenerating, which is why when you go places, you'll see big swathes of trees in Scotland fenced off so that succession can occur.